Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than eight years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my Thursday Tips blog, my DVDs, books, virtual learning, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feels like you're missing out on all the fun, you can easily join our wonderful world of guitar with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day program, which you can also find at marlenesmusic.com. Now on to today's tip. Today's tip is tension relieving ideas for guitarists. Before I jump in to share some easy tension relieving ideas, I wanted to take a moment to acknowledge and celebrate a Tips for Guitar Playing Success podcast milestone. Last Thursday, March 25th, my podcast reached 10 thousand downloads. Woo! And it's fun to think back a little bit. Less than a year ago, I was trying to figure out how to create and launch a podcast. I took a leap of faith and launched it, not knowing if anyone would even listen. So I can't tell you how thrilled I am to know that this podcast is helping so many of you on your guitar playing journey. A big shout out and thank you to Steve Levitt and his team at I Create Sound. And a warm shout out and thank you to you wonderful patrons who generously support Tips for Guitar Playing Success, the podcast. Woohoo! 10,000 downloads and counting. Now let's move on and focus on ideas for relieving tension. In last week's episode, I talked about how tension can affect your playing. To continue the conversation, here are a few more ideas of how to relieve that tension to ultimately have a better, more enjoyable playing session. I'll start out with something I talked about last week, which was deep breathing. It goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. This is one of the best and easiest ways to relieve tension. And it's something you can do anywhere, anytime. So let's do this together right now. Sit in a comfortable, upright position. Take a deep breath in through your nose for three counts. Two, three. Then release your breath by exhaling through your mouth for a three count. Two, three. With your in-breath, you want to fill up your lungs and feel your abdomen expand. On the exhale, you want to push the air completely out. Repeat this deep breathing a few times. Then check in with yourself. How do you feel? Hopefully a little more relaxed. Another idea is some simple tension relief stretching. As with any exercising or stretching, do those that are best suited to you and your body. You don't want to do anything that will cause you pain. So modify these ideas to fit you and your needs. To do the first stretch, stand up straight. With a deep breath in, reach up and stretch to the sky with both arms. As you exhale, Release just your left arm to your side. With a deep breath in, stretch only your right arm up to the sky. And with an exhale, release your right arm to your side. With a deep breath in, reach your left arm to the sky. Exhale, left arm returns to your side. Now let's do some neck and shoulder rolls. They're really good to do, and you may remember that I described them in the podcast episode on September 17th. In a seated or standing upright position, start with your chin pointed down towards your chest. With a deep breath in, roll your head to the right and then to the back. 
Then exhale, rolling your head to the left and return your chin to your chest. Repeat this a couple of times and then do the same thing going to your left side first. Everything you do in stretching and even exercise, you want to do on both sides of your body evenly. Shoulder rolls are somewhat similar to neck rolls. So with shoulder rolls, you're going to start with your arms to your sides. With a deep breath in, roll your shoulders in the front and up towards your ears. With the exhale, roll your shoulders back and down. Repeat a couple of times and then do the opposite or reverse. So you would start by rolling back, then up, front, and down. Next, starting with your arms at your side, swing them back and forth. Allow yourself to relax and flow with this gentle movement. Alrighty, on to a little bit of cardio. So stand up and either walk or run in place, or you can jump up and down, or do a few jumping jacks. All of these are good for getting the blood pumping and those creative juices flowing. So I have more ideas to share, but first, as I mentioned in the beginning, my patrons group is a big reason why I'm able to continue sharing my tips, ideas, and hints to help you on your guitar journey. The financial support I receive from listeners like you helps me to underwrite production costs and keep this show going. If you like this podcast, please consider supporting the continuation of Tips for Guitar Playing Success by joining my patrons group today at marlenesmusic.com. Go to podcast and become a member. marlenesmusic.com podcast become a member. Again, marlenesmusic.com, go to podcast and become a member. Your support is appreciated and will make a difference. Thank you. Back to more tension relieving ideas. So this next one is one of my favorite ideas, and I talked about it on January 7th in the Maximizing Your Practice Time episode. When you sit down to play, start out playing an easy schmeasy song that you really, really like. For example, one of my favorite warm-up songs is Peaceful, Easy Feeling by the Eagles. I love the song and I've developed playing it enough that it feels easy. As you're playing that easy schmeasy song, notice how it makes you feel. Does it bring joy to you? Are you smiling while you're playing? You might even notice you feel lighter, perhaps even that ah effect. It's kind of like your body is letting go of your day and focusing on the joyful sensations that the song brings you. Now, I recommend you do some or all of these ideas before you start playing. You can also do these midway through your playing session. And of course, these can be useful at other times too, like when you have playing bloopers or you're getting ready to perform for someone. Because in those situations, it's entirely possible that you might tense up. So stop and release that tension to help you play better using these ideas. And in a pinch, the go-to tension reliever is always the easy schmeasy deep breathing. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, check out the many learning resources available at my website, marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on.